Prop 27 to give themselves 90% of the profits from online sports betting in California. Other states get much more. Why is Prop 27 such a sucker's deal for California? Because the corporations didn't write it for us. They wrote it for themselves. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. Right now at 11, here we go again. The protesters are back as the L.A. City Council takes up whether to censure Councilman Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo for their role in the racism scandal. We're there live. A woman goes on a rampage with a pickaxe through a stranger's home. A baby and a grandmother were just inside. And firefighters battle a massive fire in North Hollywood early this morning. LAPD says it was part of a string of arson fires. Good morning to you. This is Eyewitness News at 11 a.m. We're live on ABC7, Hulu, and wherever you stream. I'm Phil Palmer. Giovanna is off today. The protesters are back as the L.A. City Council gets ready to vote on whether to censure Councilman Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo for their roles in a scandal rocking City Hall. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live in downtown L.A. with more. And Sid, we can see the protesters once again right behind you. And they are loud and doing their best to interrupt the city council meeting that's going on. As far as the centering of the two city councilmen, the ad hoc committee that earlier announced by a vote of five to nothing to censure council member Cedillo and De Leon. But before all that could take place formally, the protest started. Take a look. This morning, when newly elected Council President Paul Precorian called the meeting to order, protests were started with one loud chant, no resignations, no meeting. It's on the agenda, the item to censure Council Member Cedillo and Council Member De Leon. An ad hoc committee, as I mentioned, voted 5 nothing earlier this morning to censure the two city councilmen. Yeah, basically what this means, it's a reprimand. The city council does not have the power to remove the two members of the city council, but this is letting those two members know that they're basically not wanted here. Basically what they want are Cedillo and De Leon to resign. And just because you're elected to the city council, it doesn't automatically paint you with the same terrible brush. People are individuals. This is not who the city is. This is not who this city council is. And I think it's important for uh, this committee and all of us to get that message out to the public. And again, it is on the agenda for the full city council to vote on the censure, and that's expected to pass from indications from what I've been told and what I have been hearing. Again, the protests have not let up since the meeting was adjourned about 40, 45 minutes ago. The city council plans to take a break around midday, hold a news conference to talk about the action that they're about to take. Again, it's on the agenda to approve the censure against Cedillo and the Leon as they're all calling for them, those two, to resign. We'll keep you updated on later editions of Eyewitness News for now. Reporting live from inside City Hall, I'm Sid Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Philip, back to you. Okay, Sid, thank you. The special election to fill Nuri Martinez's former L.A. City Council seat has been set for April 4th. Yesterday, the council voted to move forward with the election for Martinez's 6th district seat. The election will cost the city more than $7 million. A runoff, if necessary, would take place June 27th. Councilman Curran Price will serve as the next president pro tem at the L.A. City Council. Yesterday, his colleagues voted to appoint him to the post. The president pro tem is second in command of the city council. Price had hoped to serve as the council's president after Martinez resigned, but the council voted in favor of Paul Krikorian instead. Stay with us for all of the latest developments in the fallout from the city council scandal. Download our ABC7 Los Angeles app or go to our website, abc7.com. In just a few minutes, we will talk live to LAPD Chief Michael Moore about the audio leak investigation now underway by the LAPD. 
At least two people have been detained in connection to a string of arson fires. One of those suspects is seen being taken into custody right here. The largest of the fires was a massive blaze at a commercial building in North Hollywood. It broke out around 7 a.m. at an abandoned restaurant off Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Nobody was hurt, but investigators believe it's part of a series of at least eight other small fires that were set in the same area within the span of an hour. Do you remember that? Well, a man has pleaded guilty to stockpiling illegal fireworks in his South LA backyard and will be sentenced this afternoon. Arturo Seja faces a decade in federal prison. Now the fireworks, as you saw in that opening video, were improperly detonated by police and that caused a massive explosion. 17 people were hurt. Dozens of homes, businesses, and vehicles were also damaged. A frightening scene in Pasadena when a woman smashed out the windows of a home with a pickaxe. A baby and a terrified grandmother were inside the home. <laughs> 65-year-old Beverly Baker is accused of the crime and is expected to be arraigned today. Doorbell video captured the experience on Monday. It happened while a child's grandmother was babysitting the six-week-old. After she broke the first window, my mother-in-law first instinct was to grab the baby. Two seconds later, all you see is huge shards of glass in the bassinet where she would be. Baker was later arrested at her home nearby after a short standoff with police. Investigators say there doesn't appear to be any relationship between her and the victims. The home has about $20,000 worth of damage. But when you see all of the video and then hear from me. It is just hard to get any better than this. I know. Temperatures have been so nice lately, and today we're actually cooling off a couple more degrees compared to yesterday. Nothing too noticeable right now. We're going to see some slight warming, though, as we head into the rest of the week, and we do have some more Santa Ana winds in the forecast, too, we'll be talking about coming up. Still on the cooler side, Malibu right now is about 66 degrees. We kind of switched to an onshore push today, but we didn't have much of a marine layer. We do have some uh, mid to high level clouds out there, though, down 10 LA. It's getting a little nicer, more mild, 68 degrees. Still seeing a lot of 60s out there in the Southland, warming up a little slower these days. It's still cool in Temecula at about 56 degrees degrees. 69 up into Woodland Hills, feeling pretty nice there. That goes for Fullerton as well. And then some of the coastal spots moving into some low 70s now, 70 in Hawthorne and about 71 degrees down into Huntington Beach. So we have some more Santa Ana winds in the forecast and some warmer temperatures. So what does that mean for the next few days? We'll let you know coming up in just a little bit. Philip, we'll send you, it back to you. You can keep those Santa Anas. You know, you just hold on I to know. those. We don't need to share that. I know that time of year. <laughs> okay, huh? Brianna, thank you. <laughs> as we continue here at 11 a.m., you'll want to check your cabinet. The popular cleaner being recalled this morning. The concern for consumers coming up. And first